everyone, Anna Kruger here with MAPS Coaching, and today we're gonna to talk about goal setting. And the reason this matters for us in real estate sales is October 1st is really truly our January 1st. The reason being, we all know it takes 90 days for what we do to end up in a result. So for example, if I am lead generating someone today, having a conversation about buying or selling their house, they will likely not set an appointment right away. Gonna to have to nurture them for a little bit, then we're gonna have the time that they meet with an agent. Then they're gonna to need to find a house or list their house. And by the time they finally close, we are very likely looking at a January 1st on forward closing. So really October 1st is January 1st in real estate. So we're gonna walk through four steps to help you set your goals so you can march into October ready to hit the ground running for your 2022 goals and commitments. The book I'm gonna be referencing is called Living Forward. This book was introduced to me by Haro. He was my team leader when I was in ISA. This book has changed my world. I usually read it every fall in preparation for goal setting. And honestly, this book has really truly changed the trajectory of my life. So there are four steps that we're gonna talk about about how to set goals. The first step is to figure out who you want to be. The reason this matters is there's this thing called drifting. And you all probably have experienced this, but you look up and you realize you have drifted and you're not actually where you wanted to be. Maybe you're living someone else's goals for your life. Maybe you got sucked into the, the vortex of company goals and you just look up and realize, I'm not really who I wanna be anymore. Maybe I'm accomplishing the tasks, but I'm not actually happy. I'm not fulfilled doing what I really wanna do. And so what you wanna start with is your being. Who do you want to be? So for example, you might say, I want to be a generous person. Or when you're thinking about your spouse, you might say, I wanna be a loving, committed spouse. Or if you're a parent, you might say, I wanna be a fun mom who has time for her children, whatever it might be. Um, and so the reason we start with being is that's gonna inform the doing. So for example, if I say that I wanna have a lot of time with my family, and I wanna be fun, I wanna have fun adventures with them. Well, that might mean that I decide we're gonna take a trip to Disney. Well, if we're gonna take a trip to Disney, I need to plan ahead and figure out how much money that's gonna cost and then do the work to get that money in the bank, right? So the reason we start with being is it informs later the doing. If I know that I wanna give a certain amount of money to my community, well, that means I need to have extra money beyond my bills to have money to give away. That helps inform my doing, which we'll talk about in a future video. So from this video today, what I wanna leave you with is start thinking through what are the categories of life that are important to you? I find most people end up with anywhere between five and 10, and usually they are things like health, finances, children, spouse, friends, community, faith, things like that. So start thinking about the categories of life that are important to you, that's step one. Then you wanna think through how do you wanna be remembered by that category? So if I wanna be remembered as a generous giver by my community, then I would write a statement that, that I would want my community to say about me uh, when I'm no longer here on this earth about my generosity. So really it's about figuring out who you wanna be and what are those statements that you want people to say about you at the end of your life. They're looking back and they say, wow, she was really a what a generous giver a fun mom whatever that might be so for today start thinking about the categories of life that are important to you how you want to be remembered by those categories and in the next video we'll talk about the next step all right guys hopefully i'll see you soon in the class mastering inside sales or how to hire train and retain isas we talk about goals in there all the time so hopefully i'll see you soon and i will certainly catch you in the next video where we talk about step two of goal setting see you soon